Brian Sensei here. In this video, I want to talk about zipped or compressed files. This is where you take multiple files and you compress them into one file. Now, why would you do this? This helps to reduce the amount of storage space you need to store those files on your computer. It also increases the transfer speeds. For example, when you're transferring those files to an external drive or you're downloading them from the internet. Let me show you how to zip and extract compressed files. Okay, so here I am in my file explorer, which is the yellow folder here at the taskbar at the bottom of Windows. And I'm in a folder called Rock School, which is where I have files that are related to my school of rock. Excellent! Now, these files I really don't need to use. They were from last year. So I want to archive them and store them in an external drive. But I want to be able to, if necessary, access those files in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is compress or zip all of the files. First thing I want to do is select all of them. So to do that, I can click the checkbox here at the top of the list and it will select them all. Another way to select all is to click and drag over the files you want to select. And actually in this example, I'm going to go ahead and only select these files here and not the folders above. Okay, once you have your files selected that you want to compress, you can go up here to the top of the file explorer you can go into the more menu and you'll find compress to zip file. Another way to get there is to simply right click on one of the selected files and you'll see compress to zip file in the menu. All right, once we click here, it's going to do its thing and compress those files into one single file. Here I have an opportunity to name the zipped package. You'll notice here that it used the name of the first file in the list. I'm going to go ahead and rename this and hit enter. All right, so there you'll see I have my compressed or zipped file package. And you'll even notice the icon is a folder, but it literally has a zipper on the folder. Also off to the right, you're gonna see that it reads compressed zipped folder under the type column. All right, so now if you wanted to store this on an external drive, for example, you could go ahead and drag and drop this into that external drive. Okay, so now that I have these archived, I can go ahead and delete the files out of this folder because I have them archived. Okay, so now let's say in the future, you realize you want to access those zipped files. You can go ahead and uncompress or unzip them. I'll go ahead and select the file at the top here, I can find Extract All. Another way to get to it is to right click on the zipped folder and you'll find Extract All here in the contextual menu. Let's click here. All right, on this screen, you have an opportunity to specify where the files will be extracted to. By default, they will extract to the existing location where the zipped folder exists. Also notice that it will create a new folder for those files. Here you have the option to show the extracted files when it is complete. I'll go ahead and leave that checked and we'll click Extract. All right, so it's finished. You can see here that the window has opened to show me those newly extracted files and I can access them as now individual files again. Now I'm gonna close this so here you can see that this is the zipped folder. Above that is the folder with the extracted files. At this point, you can either delete your zipped folder or you can leave it in case you plan on keeping them archived. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.